Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solving quadratic equations by factoring. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem here, 10b squared equals 27b minus 18, and we want to solve this by factoring. Well, first thing I'm going to do is bring both of these over to, well, the left-hand side. We're going to subtract a 27b to both sides. and add an 18 to both sides. Okay, well, none of them combine with a 10b squared, so we're left with, well, if I can write it, 10b squared minus 27b plus 18, and all of these canceled, so that's equal to zero. All right? Hmm, so now we have 10b squared plus, or minus 27b plus 18 equals zero. We're trying to factor here. That's a difficult one. So I'm gonna use grouping. I'm going to use grouping here, okay? Well, I'm going to take 10 times by 18, and I get 180. And these two numbers, I know it's going to be a positive 180. I'm going to find two numbers that multiply to be positive 180, but add to be a negative 27. So I'm not going to go through all the factors of 180. That's going to be too long. I'm going to kind of jump through ones that I, can, I think would work and see if anyone jumps out at me that adds to be a negative 27. Well, negative 10 and negative 18 clearly multiply to be 180, but they don't add to be negative 27. It's kind of close. What about nearby? 180 is divisible by 12, so negative 12 and, well, a negative 15. Negative 12 times negative 15 is a positive 180, and we add those together, well, we get negative 27. So here, we already found the values that we're looking for. We don't need to go through all the multiples of 180. So let's go rewrite this equation, 10b squared. Well, what I'm doing here now is saying, okay, negative 27b is negative 15b plus a negative 12b. So I'm rewriting it like that. Minus 15b here, plus a negative 12b, plus 18 equals zero. Again, these two parts, negative 15b and negative 12b, combine to be that negative 27b. Let's pull out some common factors. 10b squared and negative 15b both have a 5b in them. And when I pull that out, I'm left with a 2b minus 3. We're going to do the same thing with the right-hand side. A negative 6 is in both parts. Pull out a negative 6, and we're left with a 2b minus 3 here. And that's equal to 0. So then, now, we see a 2b minus 3 and a 2b minus 3. We can, both, we can pull out a common factor there or pull out the 2b minus 3 from both parts, not a common factor, 2b minus 3 here, and the 5b comes, all right, so we pull out 2b minus 3, and we're left with, well, 5b here minus the 6, and that's equal to 0. So now we've actually factored this equation. Since it's in factored form, and it's both equal to 0, we can set both parts now equal to 0. 2b minus 3 equals 0, and 5b minus 6 equals 0, and we're going to solve for b in both equations. We added 3 to both sides. 2b equals a positive 3. Divide both sides by 2. And b equals a positive, oops, 3 halves, not 3 thirds, 3 halves there, Sean. We're going to do the same thing here. Add a 6 to both sides. 5b equals 6. Divided by 5 to both sides. And b equals 6 fifths. And so we actually have our two answers. We can combine as one here. B equals three halves and a six fifths. And that is our final answer. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minute math. Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math, MinuteMathTutor.com.